Welcome to my channel, and if you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button, it goes a long way in helping my channel and by helping me you help me help others who might be looking to make their own antenna, with that let's get to part 3 of the Gray Hoberman build, today we are going to show you just how this antenna performs without a reflector. Here in Florida where it's supposed to be warm but there's frost out there on the lawn, but again, this is only February, so yesterday, uh, in my last video, I showed you how I built this antenna. And I had mentioned the fact that we needed to put a reflector on the antenna, but I also said that this antenna would perform rather well without the reflector. Now I've never tested this uh, antenna before, so today, before I put the reflector on, we're going to take it out and connect it up to my TV here, and we'll see if we can get some uh, TV channels with it. Now I'm just going to set it against the house outside, disconnect the uh, antenna that I have on the roof and plug this one in and see what happens. The next thing we're going to do is uh, um, I guess I'm going to demonstrate my rudimentary editing skills because I'm going to shut the camera off right now, take the antenna up uh, uh, in the back of the house, set it up, and then I'm going to turn the, the uh, camera back on, show you the antenna I have on the roof, show you that I've connected this one up, and then I'll shut the camera back off, come back into here, and we'll turn the camera back on, and We'll run through the channel scan and see how many channels we can pick up without actually mounting this up on the roof. So, with that, I'm going to turn the camera off right now and let's see how all this puts to get, uh, gets put together. As you can see, I got the antenna set up. Let me see if I can zoom into the connection. As you can see, there's a black wire that I disconnected, and we connected this wire to the antenna. Now, the antenna that this uh, I'm using on the house, which I featured in another video, is right there. And as you can see, that has a reflector screen on it. And this one does not. And so we will see how this antenna performs without a reflector screen. Alright, I'm going to shut the video off and go back into the house. On the antenna we just connected, uh, let's run through a channel scan and see how many channels we get on this. Okay, we've got 17 channels already, 23, look at that. And it's not even mounted on the house. Thirteen percent of the scan done, we got 28, 33, 
41 channels and the antenna doesn't have a reflector screen on it and it's not mounted on top of the house forty five channels fifty one might be all we get but 51 channels uh, is pretty good uh, a basic antenna mounted on top of a house pointed in the right direction we usually get about 56 channels the um, antenna that's normally connected to this TV um, gets 65 channels uh, and 64 of them are crystal clear. All right, we're at 60%, so we're not going to get any better than that. So we're, we're uh, at 51 channels. And we'll run through these channels. Uh, and I get out of... Uh, see if I can block the light so that you can actually see the pictures. We're at 78%, 80, 82, 85, 90%. Okay, we're finished scanning. And there's the first picture. Now that's pretty darn good, huh? Considering we didn't mount the antenna up on the roof, it's just laying next to the house. And you can get the same results if you just follow my videos. Uh, I believe that uh, um, I hope I did a good job in uh, explaining how to uh, uh, build the, uh, the antenna. And of course if you have any questions, uh, if I forgot to leave my email address on the particular video that you're watching, you should find it in the, in the uh, show more sections. Uh, and you can always email me or leave a comment and I will help you as best I know how to build your own antenna. As you can see, all these channels have an excellent picture to them, and we didn't even put a reflector on yet. We haven't seen one channel yet that's uh, distorted. Look at all them channels. And this is all for free. All you have to do is build the antenna and you can get 
your entertainment for free. And of course, you know, uh, in the area that I am in, uh, we just happen to have a lot of channels available. Um, so it all depends on what area you in, you're in that, uh, as to how many channels you will actually get. Um, but you should be able to get whatever channels are available, you should be able to get high quality pictures just like this. And then as that guy on that cooking station said, if I can do it, so can you. Because I don't have all that many skills. And as you can see in my uh, antenna build videos, that it's fairly simple. Look at it, we're still going. And we didn't see one picture that was distorted. And this puts us back to where we started. So. There you go. Um, the gray Hooverman antenna and how it performs. Uh, in our next video, we will I will show you how to put the um, reflector on it. And as you can see, we really didn't need the reflector here, so uh, you can either use the antenna as is, or you can put the reflector on it and get uh, a more uh, well, I don't know whether you get a more stable picture than that. Those were pretty good. But the reflector definitely helps. So with that, um, that concludes the video today. And part four will be the installation of the reflector. So with that, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Please subscribe uh, to my channel. and. Press the like button if you would please, and if you uh, want to see more videos, hit that little bell button there and uh, you'll be notified whenever I post another video. Um, I'm going to try to deal with uh, um, mostly antennas, but uh, I was thinking in further videos I will... Uh, show you a little bit about uh, Tableau which I have not that I am uh, advertising it in any way shape or form I'm just showing you how you can actually record your over-the-air uh, free TV and watch it anytime you want so with that we'll close for today and we'll see you next time I would just like to say that Molly and Holly would like to thank you for watching and remind you we have part 4 coming up very shortly and we hope you have a great day and don't forget to come back and see us.